Hi again. This is going to be another video tutorial on how to use RStudio. Last time we looked at uh, how to open RStudio and what the window panes look like, but we're going to uh, start again by doing that. So over in my launch bar, I see the uh, RStudio icon, and I'm going to go ahead and open it. Again, this is what we went over in our last video. We saw our four panes, our script editor, our global environment, our console, and our uh, plot windows over here. And in this uh, video segment, what we're going to work on today uh, and what we're going to teach you today is how to use RStudio as a calculator. And so most of us uh, have used calculators. That's very familiar to us. Uh, this by far is not the only thing RStudio can do, uh, but we're going to start with that because it's very familiar. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and open a a script or a piece of code that's going to show up here in our editor right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use my little open function here. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll through my files here. Go to desktop and open up an R. This is one here called rcalculator.r. And I'm going to open it. And you're going to see now a uh, something pop up in the in the script editor. And there's a couple things to notice about this. Number one, uh, as you can see, the numbers here on the left hand side. This is what's called. These are the lines of code that you've maybe heard about when someone talks about a computer program. It's so many thousands of lines of code. Well, that's what these numbers are here. So this particular script, uh, if we scroll down and look at it is uh, 32 lines of code. And in this script, uh, one of the things you'll notice is that the uh, the colors are a little bit different. Uh, so here's some green text here, here's some blue text in here, and we're going to go over what these things mean. Well, first of all, um, one thing that you'll see common in our script are what are called comments. And comments are usually a different color, in this case they're green, but they tell the computer to ignore what's coming after this pound sign or hashtag. And it's a way for you to keep your own notes about what the, what the computer code is doing. And uh, so that uh, these are like little notes to yourself or notes to you. So I may give you notes about what a particular script is doing. It'll all be led with, uh, with a pound sign. So I might type in here, this is... Uh, note about what this code is going to do and you'll see over here that we just put a pound sign in front of it and it turns the whole thing green so this is just telling me this is a comment about what this code is going to do now one thing that you may want to do here is because we have a small window uh, you may want to come up here to the tools menu go ahead and click on tools Go down to Global Options, and then to Code, and make sure this check mark, this uh, Softwrap RSOS file is checked. Go ahead and make sure there's a check in there. And the reason why we're doing this, and go ahead and apply it, the reason why we're doing this is uh, has to do with the way that the code is going to appear to us in the script editor. So we're just waiting for this to apply. Hit OK. With the soft wrap, you'll notice that as I type things here, uh, going to do, I'll just, this is going to be, ah, see, you see how now um, the code came down and came down to this next line, but it's still on technically on line three. And this, what the soft wrapping does is it makes sure that you can see all the code in your small, uh, source code window here, but again, this is all on uh, line. This is all on line three. So this is going to be an example of what R can do as a calculator. Okay, all right. So R, uh, treated as a calculator, uh, knows about arithmetic operators, and these are things that you've seen on a calculator before. There, it's plus. Minus, that's adding and subtracting. Maybe slash here, or uh, front slash is dividing. 
the asterisk is multiplying, and the caret, or the little uh, up arrow, is an exponent. So uh, those are all things that you can find usually on your uh, computer keyboard. We should be able to see what's going on here. So that our first nine lines of code here involve just some empty lines of code and some notes to ourselves. But when we get to line 11, now the code is actually going to do something. And the trick is, is that how do we take the information from up here and now put it down here in our console? So one way to do it is to go ahead and just by hand copy what's on line 11. So I can come down here and I can just type 3 plus 2 and hit return and I'll see I'll get the answer 5 here which is good because I understand that 3 plus 2 should equal 5 but that's one way to do it I can just recreate the code here or what I can do is highlight what's in the code with my cursor and then come over here to the run section and go ahead and hit run and it will take whatever I've highlighted here put it down in the console here next to this caret and it's given me the answer 5. And, and you'll notice that the active part of the console here is this little greater than sign. This is where we're going to insert our code. So we just put in the code 3 plus 2 and it gave us the answer 5. We can try that again with 3 minus 2, hit run, and we're going to get the answer 1. Or 3 divided by 2, hit run, we get 1.5 or 1 and a half. Or 3 times 2, run that, we get 6. And 3 raised to the power of 2, or 3 squared, we run that and we get 9. That's great. And we can also highlight multiple sections of code. If I want to run line 11 through 15 all again, I hit run and I get all my answers. All right, so R is a calculator. Now, so, so far so good. But we can not only do sort of arithmetic operators, but also logical operators. And these ones are less common on your calculator or your iPhone, but they still exist. And here's what those are. Uh, so this is the less than sign. This is the less than or equal to sign. This is the greater than sign. This is the greater than or equal to sign. This is exactly equal sign, it's a double equal sign, and a not equal sign. And so there's another way that we can think about this, which is uh, this line here, line 27, asks the question, is 3 less than 2? And so if I highlight that and I run that, my answer is false. 3 is not less than 2. And so it's still an operator, but it's a logical operator. Instead of giving me a numeric number, like a like the answer to 3 squared, it's giving me a true-false answer of whether or not 3 is, uh, is greater than 2. Here is three, is 3 less than or equal to 2. That's what this uh, less than equal sign next to it. And if you run that, that's also false. Now we can ask, is 3 greater than 2? The answer is that's true. So there's a true there. Is 3 greater than or equal to 2? That's also true. And is 3 exactly equal to 2? And the answer is, that's also false. Is 3 not equal to 2? That's what this exclamation point, this is the, is it not equal? And you run that again, and that is also true. So we've gone through our code now, and all we've done has been on the left-hand side here looking at our script, at our console, and treating R as a calculator. So you can come in here and try your own things, 7 times 9 plus 4 and get whatever answer you want and uh, you can go ahead and play with those things and in our next video session what we're going to look like is figure out how do we save these numbers in something other than just using it as a calculator how do we take this and really do some real computing and that's what we're going to get to next time